Hey guys, so this is the look I'm going to show you. Um, it's going to be a voiceover because I have uh, my daughter watching a movie right now. So I just didn't want to like bother her with this. Bit, like. um, okay, so all the products will be listed below as always. And this will be a get ready with me video. And I'm going to be using the chocolate bar palette, which um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen already this and um all the colors are freaking beautiful um mostly i'm gonna be using one two three four of the eyeshadows um i'm gonna get the little paper so i can get the exact name and but they are it'll be um this one this one this one and this gold one which is the color that i have on the lid the gold as so you guys can see let's zoom it in a little bit this is the look no lashes because um, at the time I couldn't find my glue when I was recording this and I recently found it so I'm like you know whatever it's already done so yeah and I went for a fall sort of dark inspired look this is what I the look that I was going for because I feel like um, it's the perfect time so this is it I hope you guys like and please don't mind the ratchetness you're gonna see next because it's a get ready with me video so i have no makeup on nothing whatsoever so i hope you guys like the video and let me know in the comments below what kind of videos would you like to see i need some ideas and um you know i found like this perfect lighting and amazing setup right now so i'm gonna try to get as much videos as i can um so yeah check out my instagram where i have pictures of everything and like i said if you have any suggestions or any videos let me know and yeah just like comment subscribe bye guys hey guys so we're gonna start off by just cleaning our faces um that's why i put that effect on the video um it looks like a horror movie with my naked face I was just trying to take off the eyeliner I had from before and this just a regular makeup wipe. I'm gonna be using the Smashbox foundation and I'm just using the stippling brush. Um, I believe this is from ours. No actually. I will put the information below because I don't remember the name of the company but um, I will have it down below next I'm filling in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade and it's in dark brown I used a spoolie just to um, make sure to distribute all the product along brows you know so it doesn't stay in the same place and I just did the same thing to the next one I mean to the other one um, I will have a separate eyebrow routine later on I'm gonna be using this brush is definitely from RC cosmetics it's one of my favorite favorite company for brushes and it, their blending brushes are the best I have the set of set of four blending brushes and those are the ones I use all the time I'm gonna be taking is um, the lightest brown color brown shade in the chocolate bar palette also I'm gonna have the name below because I lost a little paper where you will see the names now I'm gonna go ahead with a little darker brown and we're going to apply that on the outer corners of the lid as well as the inner corners because this look will be just that it's going to have the inner corners and outer corners with the same dark colors and in the middle we will have the gold color just so we can have it stand out
darker color this is just like a burgundy it's also gonna go on top of the brown and in the inner in the inner and outer corners <laughs> and i'm just gonna be taking the i believe this is the first brush we used for that light brown and i'm just gonna be blending everything so we don't have any harsh lines so all the colors can you know just gradiently get together i guess Eyeshadow primer, just just in case we lost some of that while applying the other eyeshadows, so that gold color can stand out and we can have its true color. And I'm gonna be using my finger as well, well just for that gold color because I want to pack it on. I want it to be as pigmented as possible. I want to brush it on, and I don't want to lose any of the pigmentation on the brush. Just making sure that everything is well blended and there's no lines between the gold and the brown colors. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of mascara. I'm not gonna do the falsies this time. So I believe this is uh, Wet and Wild mascara. And I think I applied my eyeliner already, and it just wasn't on this clip. I'm going to be highlighting with my MAC Cosmetics um, Concealer in NC45 and I'm just going to take a sponge and use my Fix Plus to wet it and then use that to apply it and blend in the concealer. If you guys want a separate videos, a uh, separate video on how I highlight and contour, let me know. I do tend to use mostly creams right now. Um, this one, you know, I did the liquid, but I use usually use cream to highlight and contour, and those have are the best that have worked for me. I will set it with a primer. I'm sorry, with a powder. But I, most of the time, I do with um, creams. So you guys let me know if you guys want a video on that and I'll write it down and that will be one of my next ones. I don't do heavy contouring on this video because I'm just going to wear this not um, nothing crazy. I do like to call that my cheekbones and um, I didn't do it that heavily on this video. But there are times where I go a little bit out of hand and um, yeah, it gets pretty crazy. But this, this one seems natural. This is natural. This is, this is basic. <laughs> Look at the concentrated in space. Oh lord. A 
a little insight. I talk, I try to talk the less possible because when I'm going back on this video, I don't like to hear my voice. So next time, I think I'm gonna just make a talk through video so I don't have to talk afterwards. If that makes sense. The next thing I'm gonna use to line my lips is this Mac lip liner. Uh, called current or current and one of the two I don't know how to pronounce it but I believe that's, that's what it is it's a very nice uh, burgundy very deep um, color and it's one of my favorites that I used for fall it's, like, you know, it's beautiful I don't know why, if it's just me, but every time I line my lips, one side comes out bigger than the other, and it's just so confusing. I always have to go back and retouch. She didn't stop there! No! She did one better! And I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild lipstick, it's matte, and it has a little bit of... Um, a little bit of sugar there, but not as much and it's one of my favorites favorites um, from wet and wild i love wet and wild lipsticks i will probably make a video as you guys can see